So, do we ever take time to think that there can be something as fun or as educational rather than school? Well, I don't think that school is fun, but that's another discussion for another day. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, please raise your hand if you ever have children on your own as a parent. Okay. Now, keep your hand up if you always wonder why they play video games a lot. <laughs> well, some people think as video games as bad for children or adult or anyone of any age. They think that it will damage your brain or it will affect you emotionally to other people around the world as we talk to every person every day. Now, do we ever take time to think that there can be a good side to video games, how it can bring people together, it could connect others from, from America to Australia, or can it make a career for ourselves? Well, this is what hopefully, by the end of the day, I could convince you that this, that video games are not as bad as what you, what people could think. Now, the most controversial and the most common type of games is violent games. Now, violent games is the main tool for someone to go against video games. How they can be very violent, or they can use an excessive amount of strong language. Well, now they have this feature which is called multiplayer. And with multiplayer, you can connect with people all around the world. Like, you can have your cousin that lives in South Africa, and you can be in the United Kingdom up north, and you can just play with them at any time. Where, wherever place or where, whatever game you want to do, you could just play multiplayer with these violent games. And now, with these violent games, there's a point with it when you're playing with the controller, it's very good for if you want to be a neurosurgeon, where with neurosurgery, you have to have precise movements, since it's with the brain and the nervous system, which is a very, very hard job to do, but it is very rewarding at the end of the day. So using the controller that you would play with, or the keyboard and mouse that you would use, you can back practice your movements, and you can memorize the movements without even having to look at onto the controller, and just keep be looking onto the screen and just playing the video game. And it's very good, so you can just practice your precise movements if you ever want to become a, new, a neurosurgeon. Now the next kind of games, which is also as common as violent games, which is adventure games. Now adventure games is a very, very special kind of games because in adventure games they can also include violence in it, but that's just up to the developer of the game to decide what they want their adventure game to look like. Now with these adventure games, you go through decisions in the game which change your story completely. One game which is very popular with the adventure games is Uncharted. Now, Uncharted is about this person who has a very troubled past, and he goes to different places, real places around the world, like in Africa or in the United Kingdom. You'd go finding real minerals in real life, which you can use that to benefit the knowledge of real min minerals, like diamonds and emeralds and all of that. And you can use it, you can apply that knowledge to real life. Now, with these games, you can also build a career around it. Like, there's so many people around the world which are making a very, very large sum of money just by playing video games. One person which is very well known in the video game industry is Ninja. This guy started playing Halo like six years ago, and he started entering tournaments which gave him good amount of prizes, like maybe $10,000 $10, just to win the tournament. But now, since he had played Fortnite, which is a new game which I personally don't like. It's really not that great. <laughs> um, now he's been able to make hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. That can change someone's life, just making maybe $100,000 a month. You can go from being sick to maybe be even being cured. He's been donating to charity using the money that he has been making. And this has been very beneficial to the society, even in Africa right now, that's dealing with a lot of poverty and children that are starving on the streets. He's brought a, a big sum of money to charity so they can be helped, which is very good for those since they can live a good life for those who are in poverty. Now, with games, what they also can do is that they have been advancing technology as we see it today. Like 20 years ago, you'd be 
rather looking of the gameplay of what the game would look like. Let's say if it was Sonic, the first Sonic game that came out, most people were concerned of the gameplay rather than the actual like graphics and what it looks like. Does it look decent and all that? Now with the technology, graphics are just through the roof. Like they have gone to an insane level that most people did not think that we could achieve in about 20 years. Now with this advancement in technology, they have been applied to the phone. Like let's say if you have an iPhone or an Android or, or, or any kind of phone, you can have, you probably have like a good quality of games which have good graphics on them. And that, if that would probably not be there, if video games like on the P and the PlayStation or Xbox or PC players, if they did not start developing the technology today, which also brings a lot of profit and revenue to the company which starts designing these games. Now, hopefully, by the end of the day, hopefully you could go home and think that maybe there's a good side to video games. And with all the things that I've told you, hopefully it can be, hopefully you'll be thinking, oh, well, maybe my child is playing a game for a good reason. And <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully they can benefit to it so their future could be based around it and hopefully with the theme adjusting your lens the video games can be viewed differently and in a better way throughout the entire world thank you <laughs>